Well, good morning. I'm here at Portsmouth Guildhall Square and um, we're expecting to or a, a rally and a demonstration. So at the moment we've got the um, the right side or the far right, fascists, Nazis, whatever they like to be called. Well, they don't like to be called, but the far left is that's what they term them. So they're just set up now over at the Guildhall itself. They're dominating the stairs. Um, hopefully a, a few more will turn up a bit later. So let's have a look at these banners that they've got up. So, least we forget, absolutely. Stop the uh, the boats. Communism or freedom. What did he die for? Right, go over your head. <laughs> so, yeah. That turned out to be a bit of a lie, didn't it? They lied to us. That all got um, announced the other day, didn't it? They tried to bury it. Poor old Peter Lynch. And, uh, yeah. There you go. They got some good banners. Enough is enough. Stand united, reclaim our country, deport all illegal immigrants now. Fair one. And they've even got the Jewish flag up, the Israeli flag. Morning. I've come to John Woods and everybody. Oh, what? Yeah. This lot? Yeah. Are you, why, why why you come over for these people? Basically, I don't believe in racism. Well, neither do I, apparently. Oh, well, I don't, I don't disagree. Uh, how, how, how so? Where, where, where have you seen that they're racists? Well, I'm not being funny that there's lots of things happening in this country at the moment, which is horrendous. And, you know, anyway, I need to get to... Do you know where my people are? Um, they've not arrived yet, so I'm waiting for them myself. Are they? Yeah, I think, I, I think on, on the on the notice it was uh, half eleven. Yeah, half eleven, but um, they normally here before. Yeah, perhaps they've decided not to come today. No, they are coming. All right. So, are, are you a socialist? Yeah. So, do you know much about history? I know a lot about history. I used to be a head of history in a school in London. All right, so so a hundred years ago, over in um, in Germany, there was a the National Socialist Party mm. formed. Do you remember them? Yes, I know they were formed. Well, they they were socialists, weren't they? They weren't socialists. They were awful people. They killed loads of Jewish people. Well, I know, but that's what socialists do. No, they don't. Well, why, why do they call themselves socialists? They, are they modelled on the Nazi party? No, they're not. The National Socialist of Germany? No, they're the not, not modelled on the Nazi party. But why, why do you think these people over here are, are fascist Nazis when they're supporting the Jews? But they're not. They are doing lots of other things that are happening in the world at the moment. You know, like, for instance, that Tommy Robinson, he's outrageous. Have, have you researched him at all? Yes, I have. Have you, have you listened to any of his, his interviews that no, he's given? No, he's awful. I saw a documentary about him a few week, about a week or so ago. Who, who put the documentary out? Which one? It was one that was on Channel 4, I think it was Channel 4. All right. Have you seen his documentary, Silenced? No. Do you know why, why they locked him up? Because he, he 
was in contempt of court. Why? Do you know why he was in contempt of court? No. For telling the truth? All oh, right, OK, fair enough. Well, whatever you say. But it's a fact. He's been locked up because he put a, a video out telling the truth. And the government tried to, to silence him. Well, I don't think he tells the truth. So you don't think that the grooming gangs? Pardon? Grooming gangs. That's, that's, his, that's his crime. He's highlighted the grooming gangs. Do you know how many children have been raped by the grooming gangs? Oh, I don't know. Hi, no. how are you? Nobody here yet? No. OK. But they should have been here before now. So, um, I tried to engage with the, the left side. Um, at the moment, they won't engage at all. They don't want to talk to me. I've been asked to move on. So, yeah. So, we'll, we'll give it another try when... Uh, there's, there's some guys up on the, the balcony putting out their their banners. So um, when they come down, I'll see if they'll have a chat. So I've now come over to the other side. Um, they've been here for quite a while. They've set up earlier. So let's go and uh, have a chat and see what we can uh, see if we can get these people to engage, see what their issues are. Right, um, I've come over to the to the right side and I'm going to have a quick chat with Sue. So Sue, can you tell us where you come from and what you're doing here? Well today we've travelled up from um, Bournemouth um, and uh, we're actually supporting the Portsmouth group um, because I mean, hey, you know, what a fantastic group they are. Um, so we're in it just for supporting everything that it says on those posters up there, which is protecting our children and basically, you know, trying to stop knife crime if we can, obviously trying to stop the boats if we can. So it's a big, a big um, open arena for um, lots of political things that we, the people, the general public and obviously us, our group, Enough is Enough, um, are trying to help promote to stop if that's what we can um, so yeah um, we've got um, a knife amnesty on the 16th in Bournemouth uh, with the help of the police and everything um, to try and make people aware you know that obviously there's been so many um, you know killings and people stabbed and everything that knife crime now seems to be you know a normal thing yeah. and and that's what we are trying to prevent that really you know, it shouldn't be. It should be um, safe to, to, to use our streets and go in our streets. And, you know, so it's just an array of those sorts of things that we are trying to get across to people um, and spread the word. So, yeah, that's what Brilliant. we're trying to do. Thank you very much. You're welcome. What's your name, sir? My name's Tim. Tim. Well, it's nice to meet you. Tim Healy. That's me. I've seen you. You were in London last week. I was. Oh, my God. Yeah, wasn't it brilliant? It was a I good know, weekend. I know Tommy wasn't there, but you know what? It was euphoric. Yeah. Um, it really, really was. We were there, and um, it was wow, it was, it was pretty fantastic. It was my first ever demo to London. I'd seen it on the telly, but actually it was really brilliant. So I'm going to, now I've done that, I feel I can support. That was my biggest fear, that I couldn't make it because we had to stand around a lot. And my, I'm not good on my pins. So I brought this particularly so that I could sit down and it worked. It was brilliant. I walked all that distance. Um, you know, if I'd have had to stand and obviously walk, I wouldn't have been able to. I wouldn't have been able to get back. I wouldn't have been able to do anything. So my, it was brilliant. Brilliant. The whole thing was absolutely brilliant and well organised as usual. And um, yeah, so yeah, absolutely brilliant. So thank you, Tim. No, thank you. All right, so see what we've got over here. See if anybody wants to have a chat. So we've got the unions here. Yeah, yeah, Uh, there's one or two masks, not too many, but they're uh, using the grating for their stop the far right, no Islamophobia, no anti-Semitism, fair enough, stop the right, yeah there were some inflammatory ones, 
I've seen. These are the people that won't engage. I'm here and I've got the, the leader of UKIP and he's just going to tell us why he's come along today. So it's an absolute pleasure and a privilege to be asked to speak in an uh, in open forum here in, uh, in Guildhall Square in Portsmouth. Uh, surrounded by patriots, common sense concerned citizens facing off to the far left in Britain, the communists and the socialists. Um, what's not to love? We, we give it a good shot and we'll, uh, we'll hopefully inspire patriots to get behind UKIP and instill the required hope that has been um, lost by the 40% who refuse to vote because they don't see a, way, a political way out of this because they've been back stabbed and let down and betrayed by the political class, the global liberal elite, the godless so many times after a while, that take, after decades, that takes its toll. And it's the leader's job to stand up for those people and say, actually, we can take back control. We can take our country back. Fear no longer controls us, we control fear. So to be able to deliver that message in open forums surrounded by patriots, absolute privilege. Well, thank you very much. Pleasure, sir. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, the principles that Jesus Christ taught is what created this flourishing society. To love your neighbor, to give to the poor, to give to the widow. First Timothy chapter eight, chapter 5 verse 8, which says, give to your family. Whoever does not give to his family is worse than an unbeliever. The words of God was the foundation of the British society and the British economy. And this is what led the British people to fight in World War II to stop the Nazi regime. It was Christianity, Judeo-Christian values. It was Christianity that motivated the British to end slavery around the world. Yes. A lot of people didn't want to end slavery. Uh, what unites us, we celebrate all the things that we have in common and we give young people a chance to actually see the whole world. We're all one world together, not to see this tiny little sad corner of it um, that the people over there are representing. So thanks again, Steve, for being here. That's brilliant. Um, I think as a candidate's front of the I invite Ellen back to speak. All right, thanks very much. Well, I'm back at the old Hill Manor, uh, been doing the edit. I was at the Guildhall Square this morning in Portsmouth and I tried to be balanced and unbiased with both sides. As you can see from the video, when I was trying to engage with the, the, the left side, uh, the unions, they didn't want to speak. They cut me off and to be honest, they were quite nasty at times. Um, I haven't shown that on the video, um, but there you go. When I went over to the right side, or the far right side, um, they were far more uh, open and engaging. And I had the opportunity to speak to uh, the leader of UKIP, Nick Fel uh, Tenconi, um, and he had quite a bit to say. So I've put that into the video. I hope you like the video. If you do, uh, please smash the like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I don't do a lot of this sort of comment content, but there is a lot of other content on my channel that you might find useful, might find interesting. So until the next one, thank you for your time. TTFN. Ta-ta for now.